going on guys here to provide another quick video for you guys if you guys haven't seen yet mixer partnered with lightstream saying we're excited to announce our partnership with microsoft and watch mixer more customizations more creativity and all ftl stream natively with windows or xbox live like a pro no extra complicated software or hardware required so what does all this mean for you guys so effectively what it means if you stream from console um, mobile or even your pc um, you can now add alerts and images and overlays and all that kind of thing through lightstream and it will display on your stream for you whether you stream from your console mobile or pc etc so here is how to get it rolling and how easy it is for the moment it is only available to mixer partners or pro viewers so if you're not a pro viewer you will not have access to this yet pro viewer is available for roughly i think it's 7.99 a month off the top of my head um don't hold me to that apologize if that price is wrong once you are a mixer pro viewer simply go to your channel and click manage channel and down the bottom here where you've got light stream beta just make sure this box here is in, is checked so it will send your mixer video feed to lightstream studio once you've done that just click on the enter lightstream studio again this is possible to do from a mobile phone but for the, for, through their browser but it is more likely going to be easy to do through a pc if you get your hands on one that will then take you to this box here now i've already got some stuff up here i'm just going to get rid of it so i can show you the basics so this is how it will load in for you guys it's going to leave that scene as well so if you're wanting a really really basic stream and you want to add layers it's really as simple as this so alerts everyone loves alerts everyone likes to let their stream know when they get a new follower etc um go to your third party integrations it is possible you need to activate it first i had to do that my end to do that just click on the arrow up here and go to account settings for and go to lightstream labs there's a bunch of boxes in here you can tick the one relevant to what the one you may want to choose is third party integrations just make sure that one's checked check there now if you haven't got any of the one of these accounts go get yourself one i personally use streamlabs um, Streamlabs handles all my donations, so people um, donate and that goes through Streamlabs. The followers go through Streamlabs, hosts, um, patrons, all that kind of thing. So that all gets sent through Streamlabs and creates the alert system for me. Um, Streamlabs.com is where you want to go if you haven't set that up yet. It's very easy to set up. Again, you can keep it very basic. I'll just quickly go over Streamlabs for you guys. If you want to set up your alert box, go to your alert box. You've got different settings here. So for instance, follows, um, that's my image there for when someone follows. Got a sound path for it. There's some default files in here you guys can choose. So stock files, that's for music, sorry. Uh, nope, that's my ones I've uploaded. There should be some default ones in here somewhere. I can find it. I can't find them in here. Images, not my uploads. Stock files, stock files, images, here we go. <clears throat> uh, so this is there's some stock files on there so you want to keep it really basic and you haven't done any of your own yet this is just some stock file images in here you can use same with the sounds as well simply choose your desired one and save and you can set different ones for your follows subscribers donations hosts etc once you set all that up save down the bottom and that's your code there you will copy so you'll copy that code there you will then come back over to your mixer here click on that and you will paste that code in there and then boom, that's it there. So you can make that as large as you want. I wouldn't recommend that. Probably leave it as the same size as what you've got. And then your alerts are done. It's as easy as that. So I could paste my code in there. Boom, and then, and then I'm done. Okay, so I'll take that back out. I don't need that. So that's your alert. That's the basics of your alert. So that's all you want. You're good to go. Now, there are some stockpile um, images in here as well you guys can use. So there's some B-Rock back screens. Thanks for watching. There's some webcam overlays with some bars at the top, etc. Again, you can upload your own. Um, if I can show you guys that, upload image, yep. So you can upload them from Dropbox, I think there is. So you got Dropbox, you can upload them from Google Drive, your own computer, etc. Up to you what you guys want to add. So if you're wanting to add a VRI back screen, you will need to add another scene. And then you would go image, VRI back screen, and then it's on, it's on another scene. Okay, don't go putting on this on your starting scene because then it's going to cover your game. 
So you'll need to create a different scene for each type of these you would want. So if you want a starting scene screen, a be right back screen, uh, an offline screen, you will need to create a different scene for each one of those. Um, if you don't want a be right back screen, you want to keep it really simple with just alerts and maybe some overlays over your actual stream, then you only need the one scene and then just size it accordingly. So again, stream is just gone. We'll put that back in really quick. There it is. Um, you could add in a webcam overlay like that. Again, I'm just doing some dummy stuff here for you guys. You guys get the idea. Now, once you guys are done, that is literally all you should have to do. Now, once you've done that, simply you just need to stream as you would normally stream. So there's a FAQ section here if you guys want any problems um, through Mixer. Do I need to launch Light Stream Studio every time I want to start streaming? No, you do not. After you're creating and editing your project, just start your broadcast as you normally would from your preferred streaming client. Your video will be sent to Lightstream and your viewers will see the customizations you've added. If you've created multiple scenes, again, just going back to that, multiple scenes would be if you've added a Be Right Back screen, for instance. So if you've added multiple scenes, you can switch between them in a browser or a mobile device at that link there. If you haven't added multiple scenes, you can just go start streaming and you'll be good to go. <coughs> and it's as easy as that, guys. Um, so I think this will be great and beneficial for all the Xbox console streamers out there. And also mobile. I do use it for mobile myself, so I will be using it for my mobile stream when I do that. Um, for PC, for me personally, I won't be using it just yet. There's a couple of features in here that are missing that uh, make me not want to use it at this present point in time, but I will be keep, keeping a close eye on it. Um, so I'm always looking for a new streaming um, software platform. But definitely for console streamers and mobile streamers, it's definitely a great um, tool. And I'm sure the console streamers are going to love it. If you guys have any questions, be sure to ask them away and I'll see if I can answer them for you guys. Until then.